tuk-tuks are one of the most well-recognized -re symbols of Bangkok. In this travel video, EBC's Kyla Manal showcases her trip on a tuk-tuk. Kyla? used to live on. Are you looking for a unique Thai experience? Well, there's this vehicle where its features are equivalent to the tricycle of the Philippines. A widely known trademark of Thailand's transportation, a three-wheeled vehicle, very eye-catching and can capture the hearts of most first-time visitors. This is Thailand's Tuk Tuk. It is also known as Sam Law, literally three wheels. Thailand had been using the human pedaled vehicles, which were predominated before World War II. In consequence, the Japanese had made small engines that changed the practice of Thai people. And this combination continues to live on that tuk-tuks can be found in some places of Bangkok and in some places of Thailand. Bangkok and other cities in Thailand have many tuk-tuks. About 20,000 are registered as taxis in Thailand. Bangkok alone is reported to have 9,000. It's true that tuk-tuks are a convenient way for tourists to get to their destination, not to mention the thrill that one gets when riding them. Uh, for Thai people, as me, I think the tuk-tuk is very important, especially for foreigners. Uh, foreigners, when they come to travel in Thailand, so they always like that because it's like a classic style, a signature of Thailand. Do you want to ride with me using this very popular vehicle here in Thailand? Hop in! Should you plan to take a tuk-tuk, try these very useful Thai words, Pai, and then say your destination. Taoraika for women, Taoraika for men, which means how much. Longtinika for women, Longtinika for men, which means I will go down here. Usually, a short ride will cost about 40 to 50 Thai baht and will vary depending on how far you need to get. Hopping on a tuk-tuk is definitely not for the faint of heart. But if you really want to experience Bangkok as it is, don't be afraid of taking one of its prominent trademarks. Uh, I think that uh, tuk-tuks in the old days, I think that we used to use them more often. There was a lot of them around. Uh, but over the years, we found that their exhaust is quite pollutive. It's just uh, it's a bit too much for us now, especially uh, uh, Bangkok is already quite polluted, so the tuk-tuks are adding to that. If they could clean up their exhaust, that would be excellent. Um, and also, as a foreigner, what we found is tuk-tuks are trying to charge us too much, uh, more than a taxi. So it's much more advantageous for us to avoid tuk-tuks because they're just always coming at us from a standpoint of extracting as much money as they can from us. And we've been around Asia long enough to just say no, no more to tuk-tuks. They, if they had a, uh, a rate system uh, that you could understand, then we would probably use them more because they're safer than motorcycles. Uh, but we've tended to use motorcycles now. Uh, they're, uh, they seem to be a bit more upfront about their prices than a bit more fair. And that's, that's the main thing. Trust in your driver and knowing that you're not being exploited as a tourist is important. In the end, keep the tuk-tuks going because they are a cultural uh, uh, beauty of, in Thailand. Um, but try not to overcharge tourists and then we'll use them more. For Thai people, tuk-tuk is still one of the most important rides because it symbolizes their land and their culture. This kind of experience is the one that cannot be missed. Reporting from Bangkok, Thailand, this is Kayla Manalo and I am one with 25.